Do you have another? Do you have another microphone? Honestly, I called this match. To be honest, like it would have been 10-9, bullshit like that. Because a lot, a lot of the times, okay, this match is really lopsided for both characters. Like, if I get the initiative, I'm gonna keep on blocking. Same thing was with Abel. Um, you know, I was very aware that Kamo is like my hardest match. I mean, like, we've been playing this game for a while, and. Uh, you know, we know what to expect. Is we're both pretty much random. We're at the aggressive. And that's why it's so hard to read. But uh, he got the six six zero ahead of me. Um, yeah, I want to give a couple of words. What do you What did you think about that? Well, you know, like in the beginning, you didn't really have much movement, but then you started mixing it up with the uppercuts and everything, and it forced me to second guess myself instead of committing like I normally do. So, since I started like second guessing myself, you're able to get away with more and. You know, you're able to kick my ass. <laughs> no, it's it was a great match, dude, and uh, you know I learned a lot too. I mean, I, I what I, I when I first play anybody, like I don't immediately give them like the the grand finals type of mindset because you know it's like fuck. I, I really, you know, I, I forgot how to do that to be honest. I forgot how to how to go in there and just give it all my all. It takes me a little longer to do now to be honest. It, it takes me. At least until I lose a round or something to wake out of it. I don't know. That's I don't know. That's my problem today. And Combo Fiend showed me that I can't do that. Six zero. You know I, I can't do that anymore. So, you know, thanks for waking me up, man. And I hope you enjoy your matches versus everybody else, dude. Good stuff, dude. All right, line up.